for the season that's in it, um, for this onshaw.net video, I'm going to uh, do a little Christmas animation um, and show how to use the clone tool um, on Scratch. Um, this is my Christmas tree um, lights puzzle. So we pick the number of baubles you'd like to see on the tree. So let's go with 20. And um, then 20 baubles should go on the tree. The idea is that they all go on the tree. And uh, then we can pick different styles of lights from 1 to 5. So by pressing 1, you get this particular style. And um, two, three, and so on. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the code. Now, um, the stage is just a blank white canvas. You can change that to whatever you want. We also have a tree, which is just a sprite, and we have an elf that has one job, and his job um, is here. That when um, when we start, it's going to ask how many balls you want to see. You can pick any number really at all, um, and um, the number of baubles will be set to the answer to that question and then we send a broadcast message to go baubles and um, also the elf will tell us to pick the style um, of bauble from one to five which um, just gives some instructions so that all the magic happens at the sprite ball and um, so there's a, quite a bit of code here uh, the first bit of code which is the easy bit is to uh, set the first bauble to um, zero zero position which is around around here somewhere in the middle and then when they receive the um, uh, broadcast go baubles this is kind of what happens this is the, the bit where we um try putting baubles on the tree and uh, the idea is that we don't have baubles flying all around the white area that they only go to the uh, to the tree itself so we repeat as many times as many times as they've chosen baubles um minus one times because the first bubble always goes on so if they pick 20 and um, we're only repeating 19 times because we have one by default on zero zero all the time and what we do is create a clone uh, of the ball so the bauble um, clones itself and we repeat this um, as often as possible um, until we've um, um, we repeat this if um, we're touching the color white so if a bauble lands on a white space it won't go on the tree and we'll repeat again and, uh, and again and again which is uh, so therefore this could this script could repeat hundreds of thousands of times um, but um, anyway if um, it does touch a white piece it picks another uh, uh, random point um, in the area of the tree so that's uh, that's really all it does um, and then the last bit of code is really just changing the colors of the ball uh, the ball has uh, a number of costumes in different colors as you can see here red blue green yellow white pink and purple and um, the script really is if you press one it'll switch the costume uh, to to uh, for number one it's just red yellow or sorry red blue yellow uh, red blue green and back again basically stop all the other scripts in, in sprite otherwise you'll have it, it won't work and then forever just repeat and change every half second and you can create your own um, styles if you wish number one is uh, three colors number two red yellow red yellow and so on um, and that's really it I'm just going to Wish you a very happy Christmas to all you people who are scratching away. And uh, if you have any uh, comments, please uh, leave them at the bottom of the screen. Thanks a million. Bye.